Yeah. Welcome. Bike. To the channel. We are talking about six or eight or ten. I don't know how long I'm going to riff for. Must draft players that are pass catchers this year in fantasy football. Either wide receivers or tight ends. Yesterday, we did the running back and quarterback version of this featured film. So we will link that down below. Make sure you check it out first off. Okay. Today we're we're talking wide receivers, talking tight ends. I've been working on my season-long rankings for the first time, and there are some some juicy, juicy, juicy spots and rankings and ADP positions to take advantage of right now, especially a wide receiver. Like usual, man, once you get into wide receiver like 25, 30, 35 range, the value is just wonderful, man. And just a general strategy note, like at the end of the day, most of these guys average really, really closely to one another fantasy points per game. So what you're really looking for out of these wide receivers, when you start getting into like the low end wide receiver two, all the way to wide receiver fours, you want the guys that give you strong upside. You want the guys that could score a lot of touchdowns. You want the guys that have like elite athleticism for playmaking ability downfield, et cetera. It's one of the key reasons that we wanted a guy like Cooper Cup over Robert Woods. We knew what Robert Woods was, not a needle mover, but we know Cooper Cup scores a fuckload of touchdowns. And he just showed, I mean, he did what none of us could have seen coming last year, all right? Except for fucking me. Except for me. Clip that shit. So I won't yell for much longer. Next thing to do is tuck our shirts in. Stop yelling. Now let's see. All righty. First wide receiver up on this list, and I don't know why this is not fucking crystal clear, ever clear, obvious right now. It's CeeDee Lamb of the Dallas Cowboys, man. His current ADP is wide receiver eight, which is fine. I have him up at wide I have him as a top five fantasy wide receiver this year. He's going off the board 35th overall in Superflex League. So that's like almost a fourth round pick. I mean, you're talking about a bona fide stud in CeeDee Lamb who just turned 23. I mean, give him a half a fucking second to become the superstar that we know he's going to be. He just caught 80 passes for 1,100 yards as a 22-year-old in the NFL. Like, let that register with yourself for half a second, okay? We're simply not talking about the receiving core around him enough right now. I mean, no one's talking about fantasy football, so I'm going to make up a fake narrative to say that we're not talking. Last year, we were taking CeeDee Lamb at this same spot. That was without us actually knowing the pecking order for the wide receivers in Dallas. Amari Cooper, some of us like Michael Gallup for whatever fucking reason. Then CeeDee Lamb. Like, we didn't know who the alpha was. This time around... Mark Cooper's in Cleveland. Michael Gallup tore his ACL in week 17 of last year. Probably going to be on the pup list, if not missed more time than that. I mean, there's almost no real competition for targets in Dallas, all right? And save yourself from the Jalen Tolbert talk. You know I like Jalen Tolbert. But he's a rookie wide receiver, man. Dallas. We're talking about that. We're talking about Dallas, the single highest scoring offense in the NFL last year. We're talking about Dallas, top five in pass attempts per game last year. We're talking about Dallas, number two in offensive pace last year. I mean, this is as close to a no-brainer as we're going to find. C.D. Lamb, dark horse to finish as the overall wide receiver one in fantasy football this year. We've got all the muck out of the way. We've got all the dirty, unseeable things like Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup out of the way for C.D. Lamb to fucking go nuts in month one of the season. All right? He's set up to go crazy this year. 35th overall, fuck up out of here. He is my top five wide receiver this year in fantasy football. If you want all my rankings, the easiest way to do so, go over to prizepicks.com. When you deposit $10 or more, Use promo code BDGE. You're going to get to play with that 10. They're going to match that extra $10 on top of that. And you're going to get an email from us giving you access to our rookie draft guide, our season long guide, all of it. All right. We'll send you over an email when we do so. That'll have all of our rankings and all of our must draft players, the official list, et cetera, et cetera. So prizepicks.com, promo code BDGE when you sign up. Next wide receiver up on this list is Mr. Michael Pittman, Indianapolis Colts. Currently going off the board wide receiver 19. Again, respectable, but 71st overall. This might be a little bit of a, a surprising one, but I think Pittman has real wide receiver one in fantasy alpha type upside. Like he had 130 targets, 88 catches last year, over a thousand yards with Carson Wentz. His target accuracy, his target quality rating on player profile were both outside of the top 60 last year. All right. With Carson Wentz, Matt Ryan, eighth in accuracy rating, fourth in pressured completion rate, third in deep ball completion percentage. Carson Wentz, 31st in terms of accuracy rating among quarterbacks, 28th in pressure completion rate, 32nd in catchable pass rate over. Like the dude was generally horrible last year. And you look at Matt Ryan coming over, obviously that's the new situation here, right? Like what is Michael Pittman with Matt Ryan? It's volume. It's volume. I don't, I don't know what his spaghetti ass arm is going to give out to Michael Pittman, to be honest with you. But it's volume, man. You look at the target counts of his top wide receivers over the last 10, 12 years since he entered the NFL. I mean, Roddy White, 
as a wide receiver one, minimum 143. Julio Jones, absurd seasons of 163, 203, 170. Calvin Ridley, like, dude, the target numbers for Matt Ryan's wide receiver one have been insanity, okay? And then you just look at Michael Pittman overall as a wide receiver by himself in terms of him progressing as a route runner against man coverage, against zone coverage. He's like top five all around. Win rate versus man, number eight. Route win rate overall, number four, which means that his zone win rate is, it, it's going to be fucking balls out for Mr. Michael Pittman in Indianapolis. They had Alec Pierce, who's like a worse version of Michael Pittman. He's just a downfield speedster, which is a weird pairing for Matt Ryan's arm, which is like barely there anymore. So I don't know what Indy was doing there, but I do know that they did know what they were doing when it comes to Michael Pittman. And y'all should know what you're doing when it comes to Michael Pittman. And that's drafting his ass in the 70s. Insanity, his third year leap is going to be an elite one. So get Michael Pittman ASAP and get either of the Denver wide receivers, man. Every single fantasy team that you draft this year should have either Jerry Judy or Cortland Sutton. We diversify the revenue. Judy's going earlier than Sutton, which is actually a little bit surprising to me. He's 84th overall, wide receiver 26. Sutton is 100th overall, according to Sleeper ADP, wide receiver 36, okay? One thing that's completely forgotten about Cortland Sutton is that last year he was coming off of the ACL tear. Remember, he, he tore his ACL two years ago. We like drafting players two years removed from the ACL tear. It takes them a year to get back both physically and mentally, all right? He was so good two years ago. Do not let that slip from your memory. So when I look at Sutton, he has way more fantasy wide receiver upside than Jerry Judy does, man. So I'll be getting a ton of Sutton this year. I mean, the big the big thing here, of course, is Russell Wilson coming over to play quarterback, man. And for all intents and purposes, he had his breakout statistical year in like 2015, right? Remember the first couple of years of his career? Really efficient, but they would not let him throw the fucking ball. The first time he threw the ball over 450 times in a season was 2015. And since then, since 2015, so 2015 through 2021, that's a seven-year sample size, his wide receiver one, fantasy-wise in his offense, has never finished lower than wide receiver 15. He has never had a fantasy wide receiver that was the one in his offense finish lower than fantasy wide receiver 15. So going back over the last seven years, the number one receiver in his offense has finished as wide receiver eight, wide receiver 10, wide receiver 14, wide receiver 15, wide receiver 14, wide receiver 6, wide receiver 12. One of these guys is going to hit big time this year, if not both. 2020, DK finished as the wide receiver 6, Tyler Lockett as the wide receiver 8. No reason that cannot happen with Cortland Sutton and Jerry Judy. I fucking love Sutton right now. I like Judy too, but I think Sutton has more overall upside. And as I said in the beginning of this video, that is what we're shooting for. We are shooting for upside when it comes to mid-round wide receivers, all right? They're all going to be separated by a few points per game fantasy-wise. You want the guy that can somehow separate himself by five, six, seven? That is Cortland Sutton. He is the downfield threat. He will be the red zone threat. He will be the goal line threat. He's the guy that can finish the year with 12, 13, 14 touchdowns. We look back and say, fuck, we should have known Sutton had the top five overall fantasy upside with Russell Wilson there. We also love Brandon Cooks. Speaking of Cooks, Cooks in the Kitchen should be using Truff Hot Sauce, all right? I don't think any of these, these takes are spicy. I'm not really a spicy guy. I don't love spicy food. I don't love hot sauce. I do love truff sauce, all right? This is a line of truffle infused. I don't know if y'all are luxurious, if y'all are bougie like myself, paying way too much for fucking rent, paying way too $19 coffees. Nonsense, all right? Truffle infused, though, I would pay up for that. And that's what you're going to have to do with truff, except... We've got your promo code, BDGE, gets you 15% off everything on the Truff website. I mean, they have pasta sauce, they have hot sauce, they have olive oil, right? You're making a nice salad, it's what you want. You want to be healthy, you want to be fit, you want to get some fucking six-pack abs for the summer, make yourself a salad, put some olive oil with black truffle infused sheesh in there. They also have spicy mayonnaise. Like they have an unbelievable line of really, really high quality stuff at Truff. So go head over to truff.com. The link is down below to get that discount. 15% off when you use promo code BDGE at checkout. Easily, by far and away, my favorite like condiment topping brand right here. Truff, we love them. You will love them if you try them. If you do, let me know down below in the comment section and I will love you forever. We will love Brandon Cooks forever because it feels like he's going to play forever. He has gone over a 1,000 yards in all but one of the last seven seasons. Even last year, he showed like dynamite chemistry with Davis Mills. He's done it with Davis Mills. He does it with every quarterback. It's insane how consistent this guy is. Brandon Cooks, going off the board right now, is wide receiver 31. He's finished as the top 15 fantasy wide receiver in like six of the last seven years. It makes no sense. And his line right now on prize picks, you want to talk about going to prize picks right now and just depositing to get our rankings or our draft guides? Go 
Go look at their season-long player props for Brandon Cooks. His line right now is 950 yards. He has topped that six of the last seven years, and there's no reason. All they did was add John Mechie, okay? Don't forget, like, as much as you guys might like John Mechie, I don't really love him that much as a prospect. He's also coming off a very, very a January torn ACL. He might hit the pup list. He might not be ready for this year. It's going to be all Brandon Cooks there in Houston, man. Brandon Cooks ready to explode. Wide receiver 31. I will be getting him in all of my drafts this year if he continues to be this underrated same thing with darnell mooney he's 95th overall wide receiver 34 so he's actually going ahead of Cortland sutton he's going ahead he's going ahead of a lot of the players but i like darnell mooney a lot because he's like a perfect storm player where it's like i don't know if i want to buy into the player in terms of dynasty but he's going to go nuts this year with Allen robinson gone and them not adding anything to the actual offense this is a team that's going to lose a lot they're going to have to pass the ball a lot Justin Fields, I don't know what he is, but what I do know is in the games where Allen Robinson did not play last year, Darnell Mooney averaged nearly 10 targets per game, okay? And he was very, very good on those targets. Darnell Mooney might not be a clear wide receiver one, but he could be what Tyler Lockett had been in, in a few of those years when he had to take over the wide receiver one role. They're similar players. They're small, they're undersized, but they're good route runners. They can get downfield and they can make big plays downfield, which is the cream of Mooney's game right now. He's a good route runner and separator around the line of scrimmage and on medium, intermediate routes. But downfield, Justin Fields was a very good downfield thrower in college, man. I would love to see them kind of siphon that offense around him being able to do that to Darnell Mooney. The number of times Darnell Mooney's been overthrown the last couple of years is insufferable. It makes me fucking sick to my stomach. But Mooney this year should see enough volume. Again, almost 10 targets per game without Allen Robinson to easily return value wide receiver 34 there's no chance he finishes outside the top wide the the top 30 wide receivers in fantasy this year you're getting him at his absolute floor and he has weekly spike games that legit win you weeks like a few of the games last year i'll just list them off like in week four against detroit five for 125 and also 10 yards on the ground in week 11 16 targets five catches 121 yards and a touchdown the next week five catches 123 yards against detroit week 18 the last game of the season 16 targets 12 catches 126 yards this dude is a baller man when given the chance he gives you these weekly spike games that win you the week I love all of Darnell Mooney at wide receiver 34. Man, I can go on and on with this list. I really could. Mike Williams, 87th overall, wide receiver 28 we love. I'll definitely grab some Allen Robinson, 90th overall, wide receiver 30. Rashad Bateman, 105 overall, wide receiver 39. It's probably a little bit of a delayed ADP with the uh, movement of Hollywood Brown. But the list is juicy, man. The, the list is ripe for the taking. My rankings will be updated by the end of next week, so those will be up on the site. And again, the easiest way to get that, bdge.co, but prize picks, all right? Go hit the link down below. It'll take you right to the Prize Picks app. If you deposit $10 and use promo code BDG, you'll get to play with it. You'll get 100% deposit match. You'll get access to our site. I'm going to keep saying it to you all fucking summer. So just do it now. Get it over with. Money spent two months ago, right, when you're looking back in August, money spent two months ago is not even money spent. You forget about it. It didn't even count, right? It's free. Basically free at this point, all right? So go go check out Prize Picks. Looking at the tight end position, there's no one I'm overly overly ecstatic about to be honest with you but i do like some of the mid-round guys i probably won't be paying up for the kelsey andrews or Pitts because they're going 17th overall 20th overall 32nd overall don't want kittle not sure i really want waller with adams there hawkinson i'm good the upside has been a little bit ugly and jameson williams i'm on ross st brown dalton schultz dallas got there's three in a row here Dalton Schultz is the tight end seven, 70th overall. Dallas Goddard, 74th overall, tight end eight. And Dawson Knox, 92nd overall, tight end nine. I love those three. Those three in a row, Dallas uh, should give Dalton a huge target share. Again, the same reasons that I made with CD Lamb. Dalton Schultz should be a beneficiary of that. Dallas Goddard was legitimately awesome down the stretch last year with Jalen Hurts. They do add A.J. Brown, so that hurts him a little bit, makes it a little bit more promiscuous going down the stretch there. Though I do think Dallas Goddard will be about as solid as any uh, top 10 tight end that's not you know one of the elite guys Dawson Knox is just a playmaker super athletic super young in an ascending offense that's now going to be without Emmanuel Sanders they get rid of Cole Beasley they do bring in other targets and Gabriel Davis should obviously see step up and play but I'm gonna be taking shots on Dawson Knox for sure yeah we'll probably make an updated list I, I didn't get to look into the tight ends too much but I wanted to make this a very wide receiver heavy episode for y'all uh, Dawson Knox definitely has a little bit of Robert Tunyon type energy going on where, you know, the touchdowns are up there, but the rest of the stats were not. We're projecting a little bit too much. I love Zach Ertz prior to the Trey McBride 
uh, draft pick, although that might just make me like him a little bit more because his value is going to be wonderful. Zach Ertz landed in Arizona with 10 games remaining last year. If you take those 10 games he played with Arizona, that's a big enough sample size. That's more than half the season. And you give it a 17-game pace. He paced out to 90 receptions and 133 targets. Last year, Travis Kelsey and Mark Andrews are the only tight ends that topped 111 targets or 78 receptions. He paced out to 90 receptions and 133 targets. I think Zach Ertz might go wildly undervalued because Trey McBride got drafted. Rookie tight end that doesn't compare to the previous year's like elite tight ends. So I really like Zach Ertz. I'm going to have a lot of shares of him as well in my drafts this year. That'll wrap up tight ends for the most part. Let me know what you guys think about the tight ends. Who are some of your must-draft wide receivers going at their current value right now per sleeper ADP? That'll wrap up the video. Again, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Go check out truff.com. Use promo code BDG for 15% off your purchase. Go cop that draft guide at PrizePix, prizepix.com, or PrizePix in the App Store. Use promo code BDG when you deposit. You get a 100% match, plus all of our good sheesh on the site. I love y'all, and I will see you tomorrow.